Listen, I thank God so much. Wow. I once thanked God that he freed me from drugs when I was young. But today I give him thanks. Not that he's freed me from that. That's foolish it's habits that I would have overcome in another way. I thank him that he's freed me from the so-called Christians of today. That he delivered me from that hell of religion. That is an hypocrisy. That's an hypocrisy. I mean, if you haven't taken notice yet, continue growing in grace so you can see. So then you don't come to church to change. You're going to be frustrated. This doesn't change. This doesn't change. Now, if you come and receive wisdom, wisdom governs this. But it continues as bad as it was before, perhaps worse, because now you're in wisdom. <laughs> this wisdom brings about change. This brings change. Ephesians chapter 1. So we can conclude. We have touched on all verses that speak about wisdom. That is what's needed in this world right now. The wisdom of God. That is written in 14 epistles. Don't look for it in any other book of the Bible. As a matter of fact, don't look for her in Solomon. Because that was the wisdom beneath the heaven. The queen Sheba, a queen heard of the wisdom of Solomon. And when she saw him and met him, she says, no, no, your wisdom is beyond what I've heard. And she lavished him with gold gifts because she was impressed with the wisdom Solomon had. Look at the wisdom he had that one day two women appeared before him and said, King, this is our son. And whose son is it? One said, mine's. The other said, mine's. Both said the child were theirs. So then Solomon said, well, this I am going to resolve soon. There was a soldier beside him, and he took out his sword and said, I'll cut him in half. And, and the true mother said, well, no, give it to her. Well, you are the mother. But that was earthly. That was earthly because then Solomon <laughs> said, with all the wisdom, I resolve her problems, but I have issues in my flesh. <laughs> I have my children confused. This is going on. This David, God, the kingdom, because that was wisdom for nonsense of the flesh. But this wisdom is not Solomon's. This is the one from heaven, the hidden and predestined, the one God saved for our glory. Abba Father. Look at the wisdom we are speaking about. First Corinthians chapter 2. And verse 6. What did I say? First Corinthians? Oh, I didn't read Ephesians. It's that I was anxious to get to this verse. Let's read this one and then we'll deal with the other. First letter to the Corinthians chapter 2 verse 6. Because we are speaking of wisdom, right? Look at what it says. However, we speak what? Say, we speak wisdom. How many speak wisdom here? This is what Paul did. He didn't speak of the law and that the lamb and that clean your hands before eating. That isn't wisdom that the devil is watching you. That ain't wisdom that there are demons in your house. That you soon feel you're going to die. There's no wisdom there. 
However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature. How many are mature here? Well, that's why I can speak wisdom here, because you have attained it. And it says, and wisdom, not of this age, not of Solomon, not of this age, nor of the rulers of this age that are perishing, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom, occultism. The true occultism. You know that the Rosicrucis and all these religious folks boast, oh, there is a wisdom that's hidden. The, the, uh, the ones from, uh, the Maya culture had a wisdom. Listen, the Maya culture and all those folks who they spoke of was us. They would speak about a culture, a people that are going to speak what, what they were doing was were prophesying a program I saw on television of wise folks. What was the call? Incognito Infinity on cable. All those wise men gathered and they were speaking about the world. They said, the world is not going to end. A new system is coming with knowledge. And they have knowledge of people that is going to come and there's a leader amongst them that is already born and he has the ability of having them all speak one and the same all over they speak the same it's a governing in their mind where they speak one and the same so they ask the wise man listen and who is that man I don't know I call him the gray man And where is he? He exists. The hombre gris se llama José Luis. <laughs> Verse 7, but we speak the wisdom of God in a wisdom, the hidden wisdom which God predestined. Did he predestine you? Well, he predestined a wisdom for those that were predestined. Why would he predestine you and not give you the wisdom? Before the ages for our glory. For our glory. It's so you can glory. So you can rejoice. So you can call the things that are not as if they were. Let's conclude with Ephesians chapter 1. Perhaps it was best to read Ephesians at the end. Because here it says how this wisdom arrives. 117. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit. 15%. Gives you a spirit. That's where it begins. You know, that's a spirit. That is an attitude and others notice when you leave here and a religious person looks at you immediately, you have a way of speaking. You have a way of reacting to situations that immediately they notice it's strange. It is a spirit. A spirit means an attitude that takes over your mind in humility, naturally. Because if it goes through the other route, you become prideful and unfriendly and intolerant. You don't support the weak and you, you know, are judgmental. But you have to baptize that with love, which is the bond of perfect unity. That is to say, we rejoice that we have this wisdom, but we have to be humble, especially with those of 10%. <laughs> those of 10% are behind and they don't advance. 
It says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your understanding enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the soup? Surpassing, surpassing greatness of his power towards us who believe we are different. Here, those who believe. And you know who are those that believe? The ones that the Father enlightened the eyes of their understanding. You can't do it. You can speak. But the Spirit is the one that delivers that revelation. There are some that they hear it, just a part of it. They hear our television program and they heard hardly anything, just a bit. That's what I'm looking for. And they've heard nothing. But it's that they're chosen. Chosen as first fruit that God is going to raise upon the face of the earth. And you are part of those first fruits. Your work in the Lord is not in vain. You're coming here, it's not in vain. This is an edification that God is doing in your spirit. He is forming your inner man. He is for and strengthening your inner man. He's taking your eyes off the natural that you may put them in the spiritual. And there come a time where you're going to speak only grace. And when you get into a situation, I don't receive that out of here. I receive this. You're going to be firm. There, I would ask of you, you imitate me. Listen, whew, they can't take my eyes off of that. If something comes in between us, what I maintain myself in is this covenant. In the old covenant, in the holies of holies, there were two sheriffs and they, one to another, would stare at each other. And the manifestation of God would appear and sometimes the high priests would fall dead and they would not even look upon the thump <laughs> of the fall of the priest. What happened? Oh, he's passed on. Don't even look there. <laughs> I've heard things. There have been explosions around me. There have been many things. And... Listen, I do not take my eyes off this covenant. I maintain myself. It is written. I retain it. Sooner or later, I know this works. I, Lord, I know you don't lie. I'm a father. To his name be the glory. Listen, you look like an army. The army of grace. Let's stand. To his name be the glory. Glory. Abba Father. I declare you healed. I declare you reigning in life. Heal from head to toe. I declare you in wisdom. The mind of Christ activated. Give an applause to Jesus Christ. Abba. Treat your brother.